are staying on top of breaking news for you in Cornelius, where a large fuel tank exploded at a business, prompting evacuations. This is a live look from Air 12. We can see smoke. We can tell you that smoke can be seen from miles away. Uh, the good news right now, no reports of anyone getting hurt. We do have live team coverage for you on this major fire going on as we speak. We begin tonight with our Fox 12's Drew Reeves, who joins us now live uh, near that scene. Drew, we can see that black smoke right behind you tell us what's the latest yeah that smoke actually just started picking up we heard some what sounded like explosions here in just the last minute or so a few of those and then we're starting to see a lot more of that darker smoke picking up as you said this is a ethanol tank where this fire is happening it's an ethanol storage tank at a company called thunderbolt racing fuel this is next to a walmart in cornelius it's also on the same property of a company called summit foods they are part of the same company uh, that Summit Foods is a food processing plant where they dry berries uh, and that storage uh, plant, the ethanol storage is for racing cars. Uh, but we, again, we're hearing some of those pops here just in the last minute. Uh, this fire has been burning for several hours out here now. We do know uh, a little bit more on the firefight. Hazmat is in there and trying to assess the situation just to see how much ethanol is left to burn. Uh, they ha have not been able to determine an exact amount, but they're trying to figure out the next course of action right now. An interesting firefight out here. Firefighters saying that they obviously can't put water onto the actual fire, so they've been fighting it with a foam. They did bring in something called remote monitors which are hoses that have large nozzles and they don't require a firefighter to be there and they can spray 500 gallons of water a minute now they are spraying that water onto the tank and that is just to cool the liquid inside so again that water not being sprayed onto the fire but onto the tank to cool down the liquid that is in there to try to get that under control uh, this has been again happening for several hours out here we do know that several buildings on that property have burned down they don't know exactly which ones are there uh, but they were trying to save the remaining buildings on that property uh, we also know that there is a serve pro next to that property we don't know if that building or that company has received any of that damage out here but again hazmat is in there trying to assess what the next course of action is we do know that their hopes for getting anybody who has been evacuated in this area back home is around 7 p.m so we do expect this firefight to last at least several more hours out here but for now reporting live in cornelius drew reeves fox 12 oregon yeah, that thick black smoke there three hours later, more than three hours later, really telling the story. Let's continue our team coverage now with Audrey Wheel. She's talked with some people who've been forced out by the fire. Audrey? Yeah, well, at this point, we know that close to 80 homes have been evacuated as well as several businesses. And I want to give you a look just from our vantage point here. You can see just one example of why these road closures and evacuations are in place. These are all of the agencies responding here. You can see just how many vehicles are staged there. And then all of the personnel, of course, working on this firefight. Again, close to 80 homes evacuated, several businesses. That includes, if we pan over right here, the Walmart and the Walmart parking lot, which is what you're looking at right here. You can see kind of just how close it is um, to that fire right there and that smoke. Now, again, we do expect these evacuations to last another couple hours. There is a half mile perimeter around the fire. We'll show you a map here to give you a little bit better idea. That fire is on North 4th Avenue. The evacuation perimeter is just around that, that half mile radius. Now we know the Washington County Sheriff's Office have really been the ones going door to door, making sure people have gotten out this afternoon, telling people they cannot go back in just yet. Now the closure right now is 20th and Cornelius to U Street and people who've been evacuated can go to Forest Grove high school. Now outside of that area, people can close their windows or doors to avoid getting any of that smoke or ash inside. We spoke to two women who were right here in this Walmart parking lot when they started seeing the smoke, started seeing the flames, heard explosions and were told to leave. Well, I was at home in the house. I didn't know anything about it till she returned from the store, yeah. came in and let me know, hey, there's a fire behind us at the biofuel plant. And that's when I 
we came outside and we go, oh, geez. And about that time we heard a little explosion. And then we went over a little further to where we could see it better. And there was a great big explosion and it shook the house. And it was scary. And it's still scary because right now the houses are okay, but we don't know because it's a biofuel. We are the closest house to that plant. Yeah, I mean, did you know what was going on? Sheriff's office and fire officials will let people know when it is safe for them to go back again. Right now, they're thinking that likely won't be until about seven o'clock. So, of course, we'll keep you posted on anything we hear in that regard. We know they're also posting those updates on social media. For now, reporting live in Cornelius, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.